Mr. Molina, hi. Good evening. How are you doing tonight? Hello, Ernesto Palacios. How are you doing tonight? Hi, 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 hi. Can you hear me? Hi, good evening. Hi, Ernesto. Did you have a good day today? Yep. Okay. Very good day. Very good day. How many hours did you work? Eight. Eight, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, eight hours a day, five days a week. Yes, probably next Saturday I will work. All day? I think so. Sometimes my boss uh, pay me eight hours only for work uh, five hours oh, okay. from seven at 12 o'clock. Seven to 12. When when, from, from seven to 12. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. For, for lunch time, sometimes he pay me the eight hours. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good job. Very good. More I have money. a question, teacher. Go ahead. I have a question about the section one. I'm working on section one. I'm sorry for don't do it the, the this weekend. Okay. But isn't it the, the knowledge check? Uh, 1.12 because say answer this question about the source mm -hmm. when I the, the question is are you from the United States you have to say you have to say I, yes I am no but when no, I no not or yeah it depends it depends, depends yeah depends yes but the other question is is your teacher from Canada I put it, no, no he, he isn't. isn't. No, he isn't. Yeah, but when I put that, that answer is negative. Right, okay, so you have to be careful. Correct. Yeah, you have to be careful because sometimes uh, what happens is that maybe you write one period and you're not supposed to write the period because the exercise already has the period, you know? uh it's a little tricky the, the computer is a little tricky okay so let me see if i can go let me see if i can go to section one okay okay <coughs> we're gonna answer it together okay can i can i show you my screen can i share my I, I my think, screen yeah go ahead go ahead you can you can look it sure Go ahead. Say, uh, you can start screen share while the other participant is sharing. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Oh, impossible. Say that you are sharing the, your screen. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not supposed to show it, okay? So It's not possible. But you can... Okay, let me let me show mine, okay? Let me show mine. I'm starting right now. Yeah, okay. So, um, let me see. Uh, we're going to go to section one. Here we go. It would be one point. Could, could you check? Oh wait, 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 wait. This is wait, wait, wait. Okay, we're gonna do it together and see what happens. Oh my God, it's showing three. Okay, wait. 
So you have to do the three sessions uh, this week. Yes, I'm working on the session right now. I don't want to do it. I have to do it. Okay. 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 Okay.
you finish section three, Wilbur? Yes, teacher, yes. But <clears throat> not the midterm exam. And the midterm exam? Hope, no, no, oh. no, not yet. Oh. I hope to okay. uh, finish this, this week. This week, all right, all right. And then the next week we're going to do number four. And we have to get ready for the final exam um, in two weeks, right? This is the second week. Next week, next Monday is going to be the third week. And we have to finish section four. And the last week we have to finish section five and the final exam. Remember that Insofor will be checking your work, okay? And they will pay. English Corporativo uh, for you to continue your English studies, right? That's very important, okay? So you keep it in mind and uh, everything will be just fine. So today I wanted to show you uh, the knowledge checks. I wanted to discuss the knowledge number three, no, uh, the final, I'm sorry. The, the midterm exam, I wanted to discuss uh, the midterm exam with you. So just in case you have a question or if you have had any problems with the knowledge checks, three, whatever, whatever you wanna ask, okay, I'm here to help you out, okay? So let me see section three. Let me go back and do you have money? Do you understand? Can you see where you get those options? Okay, they're different. Okay, uh, here we are. Let's see if we can go to the midterm series. This machine is crazy. Uh, go down here. It is okay. So, go to. Fill in X, base, So get it, right? It says, right, it with, with verb to be. Okay. Um, do you know where you're from? Hello, Dina. Hello, Dina. Where are you from, Dina? Hello. Ernesto Molinda, where are you from? Okay, uh, where are you from? Where, where are you from, Ernesto? Where, where are, are you from? from? Uh-huh, answer my question. Where are you from? Where are you from? Are you okay, from? I, I, I'm from Salvador. Okay, or are you from any, are you from Santa Ana, San Salvador? Uh, okay, okay. Where are you from? Uh, La Paz. Oh, okay. Department La Paz. Okay. Dina, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Ernesto, where are you from? Ernesto Palacios. I'm from San Vicente. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Wilbur, where are you from? I'm from Santa Ana, too. Santa Ana. Do you know Dina? No, no, no. Okay. But no, <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Ah, not yet. Okay, good. David, where are you from, David? Where are you from, David? Uh, good night, teacher. I, I'm from San Salvador. Joanna, where are you from? Joanna, where are you, where are you from, Joanna? I am from Santa Ana. Uh, okay, good job. All right. Carlos Diaz, where are you from? I am from San Salvador. Oh, okay, great, great. And I'm from San Salvador, too. Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, do you uh, do you speak any other language? Uh, Carlos Diaz, do you speak French? Carlos Diaz, do you speak French? David, do you speak French? 
Uh, no, I'm not teacher. Joanna, Joanna, do you speak French? No, I don't speak French, but I'm learning English. Oh, you're learning English, that's great. Debbie Gonzalez, uh, do you speak French? Debbie, hi Debbie. Debbie or Wilbur, do you speak French? No, teacher, I don't. And what about Ernesto Molina? Do you? No, I don't. No, I don't speak. Oh, okay, not a problem. Not a problem. All right. Okay. So we're gonna answer. We're gonna answer uh, the questions. We're gonna answer. Is Davis? Ah, uh, say it again. Is Davis in your class this semester? Oh. Uh, no, number one. Number okay. One? Where yeah. are you from? Yeah. So the answer is, <clears throat> I'm from Mexico. How about you? Then the answer oh, would be, okay. How about you? The answer would be what? <laughs> Where are you from, Teresa? I'm from Mexico City. How about you? I am from, you would have to say, I am from El Salvador. Okay, so uh, number two, number two, number two, number two, number two would be uh, David, David, what is the answer to number two? Uh, read it, read it, read it. Read, read it. Are David in your class this semester? Uh, is David in your class this David. semester? Yes. Where is Mama. Yes. Where is Spanish? Uh, that is. Uh, the answer is is the answer would be like this capital s why capital, is david in your class this semester the answer should be is right joanna do you understand yes. why? Do you understand why? The second. The, the second answer should be here. Is. Yes. Is. Yeah. Is David in your class this semester? Yes. We're in the same Spanish class. Okay. Number three. What? Are. It's only one class. It's only one class. Oh. What, what, is, is your, uh, what is your math class your math like? Class. What is your math class like? What is the answer? It's really interesting. And the teacher's great. The teacher's great. Okay? So the answer would have to be is. Okay? Uh, Dina. Number four, Maria. Are, uh -huh. are Maria and Brian from Canada? Okay, and with a capital, capital A, capital. Are. Capital, capital A, right? Do you understand capital A, capital? Because you're beginning the sentence with a capital letter. Okay, complete the following simple uh, conversations with the simple present. Okay. So the, the, sec, the second color? The second. La, la cuatro. Number four, R. 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 Okay. So, Joanna, where do you work? I work in the university. Okay. Okay. Where do you work? I work. I is in. 
And the answer is in number one? Do. 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 Where do you work? Okay. Uh, what about David? What about what about number two? Wait, 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 wait. Here it is. Okay. Number two, David. Number two. Where where I'm work? I work in the same university of Joanna. No. Answer number two. I want you to Okay. Huh? Answer number two. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I explained the uh, first. I don't understand. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let, let's let's go back to uh, let's go back to let me see. Let's go back to the chat. Okay. Now remember that you have the verb to be right you have the verb to be the verb to be is very simple i am a teacher i am a teacher okay this is the verb to be this is the verb to be okay i am no he is a librarian he is a librarian, okay? He is a librarian. She is a teacher. So this is the verb to be. What is the question? Can you change? Can you change? Can you change? I am a teacher to a question, please. Can you change it? I am I am a teacher to a question. How do you how do you change I am a teacher to a question, Joanna? Mm -hmm. How do you change I am a teacher to question to a question? E Emolina, go ahead and help. You are you a teacher? Are you a teacher? Okay. Are you a teacher? There you go. That would be the question. Are you a teacher? And, yes. and the answer? Yes. Yes. I am. I, I am. Yes. yes, I am. I am a teacher. Yes, I am. Or, yes, I am. No. This or is the simple present. This is simple present with the verb to be. Or no, I'm not. Uh, okay, M is R. M is R. You a teacher, okay? R U R. You are. Okay, how do you conjugate the verb to be? I am. You are. He is. He is. She is. She is. It is. It is. We are. Here we are. They are. And they are. They are. They are. Okay, there you go. So this is the way you conjugate with the verb to be, okay? The verb to be. Now, you can use at, with the verb to be. You can use adjectives, adjectives, okay? With the verb to be, you can use adjectives. Like for example, when you say, I am happy. Happy is an adjective. Happy is an adjective. Happy is an adjective. So with the verb to be, you have to use uh, adjectives or maybe a place, I am, in San Salvador. I am in San Salvador. Okay. With a place, a place. 
San Salvador is a place. I am in San Salvador. Or maybe you want to use a noun. I am a teacher. I am a teacher. Here we go. With this, you have you have to use the verb to be. You have to use the verb to be, okay? Now, when you use verbs like, for example, live, live, go, work, uh, let me see, work, and travel. When you use verbs like these, when you use verbs like these, live, go, work, travel, you need, it. you need, for example, do, the auxiliary do, the auxiliary do, or does, or don't, or doesn't, okay? You need this. You need do, eat or do, or don't, or doesn't, okay? For example, I live, I live in San Salvador. I live in San Salvador. How do you change? How do you change this into a negative statement. How do you make that negative? I live in some South. You don't live. Uh, okay. I don't, I don't. I don't live. I don't live. In some South. Okay. I don't live. See? See, here you have to use don't. No. Here you have to use don't. When, when I use don't, when, do you, you have to use actually, action is, verbs. You have to use simple action. present too. Simple pre this is the simple present too. also. This is simple present. Okay, this is simple present also. And this is simple present also. But this is the verb to be. And these are action verbs. Whenever you use action verbs, you have to use the auxiliary, these ones. You have to use these ones. You have to use do, don't, doesn't, okay? I don't live in San Salvador. Okay, what is the question for I live in San Salvador? What is the question? What is the question for? What I'm, do you live? Okay, do you? Where, where do you live? No, do you live in San Salvador? Do you live? Okay, do you live? Where in, do you live? Do you live? The question for this live? for this sentence is do you live? Do you in live? And the answer, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Or, no, I don't. Or, no, I don't. Cuando utiliza la doble S question? Ah, okay. That is, you, you can say, where do you live? You can say, where do you live? You can ask that question, okay. Where do you live? Who are you? No. Who do you work for? Who do you work for? Okay. Uh, let's see. When do you when do you go to work? Go to work in the morning, for example. So those are the WH, WH words. Excuse me, teacher. I have a question. Juan, en español voy a hablar. ¿En qué momento yo uso WS question y el do? 
porque la finalidad es lo mismo. Por ejemplo, do you live in San Salvador? ¿Dónde vives tú? ¿Y where do you live? O sea, es lo mismo. No. Pero no entiendo, no, no entiendo no, eso. No, 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 no es lo mismo. No es lo mismo decir. No es lo mismo decir. Do you live in San Salvador? Que preguntar, where do you live? Porque aquí, usted ya sabe dónde vive. Está, está, o sea, aquí, cuando dice San Salvador... Ya no necesita preguntar por qué, porque ya sabe que es San Salvador. Pero cuando usted quiere preguntar por un lugar, si usa where, en este caso, where do you live? Preguntando dónde, dónde vive. Cuando es el do, que en español, ¿cómo mm -hmm. es? Va, te voy a explicar, pero póngame atención. Porque esto, esto, la diferencia entre esto sí tiene que saberla. Va, cuando usted usa el verbo to be, aquí está, el verbo to be es is, are, uh, is, is, are, etc. Yo, es el verbo ser o estar, ¿ok? Es el verbo ser o estar. Entonces usa adjetivos, yo estoy feliz, yo... Uh, estoy en San Salvador, yo soy un profesor. Pero cuando usted usa verbos que son uh, verbos de acción, que ya no usa, no, no dice yo estoy feliz, ya no dice yo estoy feliz, sino que dice yo vivo en, vivo, ya no dice estoy, sino que vivo. ¿Ok? Entonces cuando usted usa los verbos de acción tiene que usar do. Fíjese que aquí, cuando yo le pregunté, vamos a ver dónde está, aquí arriba, cuando yo le pregunté, transforme esta oración, I am a teacher, en una pregunta. No se mira nada en la pantalla, teacher. No, no, no pueden ver el, o en el, chat es. el chat. El chat. En el chat. Ah, el chat? chat sí lo estoy viendo. Ah, ok. Es va. Donde dice, I am a teacher. ¿Cómo transforma en pregunta, I am a teacher? ¿Qué usó? Mire, aquí en, are you a teacher? ¿Qué usó? <coughs> el verbo to be también, ¿verdad? Are you a teacher? Are, are. Ahí... El mismo verbo to be es, es auxiliar para hacer preguntas, para responder, para hacer oraciones negativas, cuando está usando el verbo to be. ¿De acuerdo? Ahora, cuando usted usa, ¿está viendo el, el chat ahorita? Joana, va. Cuando usted usa verbos, mire aquí estos verbos. Live, go, work, travel. Cuando usa esos verbos, ya no puede usar el verbo to be como auxiliar para hacer preguntas, oraciones negativas, etc. Tiene que usar los auxiliares do, don't, or doesn't. Cualquiera de estos tres. Por ejemplo, I live in San Salvador. Yo vivo en San Salvador. ¿Usted ve que está el verbo to be ahí, en esa oración? No. No. Entonces, usted necesariamente, para hacer, mire, negativa, la oración negativa, que usó? ¿Qué usó para la oración negativa? Don't. I don't live in San Salvador. Si hubiera sido, I am a teacher, ¿cuál es, cuál es la forma negativa de I am a teacher? I'm not a teacher. Solo le pone not y es tú. Ya hizo lo negativo. Ahí no necesita el mismo verbo to be. Es el auxiliar para hacer preguntas, oraciones negativas, etc. Ahora, si usted quiere hacer una pregunta cuando está usando action verbs, entonces tiene que usar do. Do you live in San Salvador? Do you. Ya no puede usar el verbo to be porque la oración no ha sido hecha con el verbo to be, sino que 
con, una, con un verbo de acción. Es, esa es la clave ahí. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Entendió? Y si no... Sí. Tarea, que sí. y, si no y si no, tarea eh, eh, en YouTube se puede poner forms of be, forms of be, formas del verbo to be. Y después pone do and does. ¿Cómo usar do and does o doesn't? Cuando no usamos el verbo to be y usamos verbos de acción, ya entra, ya entra eh, el uso de do, don't, o doesn't para hacer preguntas, para hacer oraciones negativas, para responder, etc. ¿De acuerdo? Pero cuando es un adjetivo, utilizo ah, verbo are. to be, verbo to be, exacto. 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 Esta, si usted no entiende esta diferencia bien, entonces va a ser como que está viendo, está leyendo en chino, porque no, no va a entender. No, no entiendo. Bueno, una de las cosas que más me dificulta. Sí, pero ahorita es su oportunidad de entender, porque en eso estriba el hecho de hablar inglés, en entender las cosas así, y hablar correctamente. Eso es bien importante, ¿verdad? entender el verbo to be y verbos eh, de acción. ¿Cuáles son los verbos de acción? Deme ejemplos de verbos de acción. Lead, work, travel. Otro. Um, dance. Dance, exacto. Eat. Va, exacto. Entonces, sí, entiende eso. Va, entonces, si volvemos a lo, en lo que estábamos después de esta pausa, ¿cuál es la respuesta en la número dos? Miren, el, el main verb es do. El verbo principal es do. ¿Qué es ese? ¿Un action verb o es un, el verbo to be? Action verb. Ajá. Okay. Entonces, ¿qué tendría que explicar? What do he do? No, pero no es do. No. Como, como es be, tiene que ser go. Does. Oh. Does. Ay, no. Este, does. Does. Mire, does. Y aquí, arriba, y aquí arriba, ¿cuál es? Dina, where? Where do? Do. Why do, Dina? I do the work. Because you're using an action verb over here, check. This is an action verb. An yeah, action yeah. verb. Okay? Okay. Uh, y Molina. Where does she? Aquí está, mira, aquí está la respuesta, pero, pero. Where did she go? Where does she go? Very good job. Where does she go? Vale, vamos a dar enviar y a ver si nos sale todo bueno. Bam. Yes. All right, mire. Uy, esta no la contestamos. <risa> Where? Are. 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 Vamos a ver. Where are? Where are? Okay, here it is. Here it is. That's very good. That's very good. All right, so this is your midterm exam. This is your midterm exam. And you have to study do and does and the verb to be. Okay, possessive, what are the possessive adjectives, uh, uh, Ernesto Molina? What are the possessive adjectives, Ernesto Molina? Uh, my. My. He. His. Your. Your. Her. Her. Our. 
power. There. Very good job. Okay. Nice to meet you, Rick. And what's you're talking about Richard over here. Okay. So the answer should be what? You're talking about his, a man. All right. His last name. His last, his name, last name is again. What's his last name again? Again. again? No. Okay. So we're talking about a man. So we have to we have to answer his. Okay. All right. Teacher, can I do uh, can you wanna do it? Mm. Go ahead. My man. You uh huh. I think it's yours. Okay. Hi, yours. Last name is Parker. It's nice to meet you too. No, the first one. The first one. The first one. Her. The first one. The first one. You say is uh no the number one. Oh oh no no oh, number one number one. Did you say his or what? His. No, I think no. I think I think it's your because you are you are. Oh, you okay, are wait, telling about it. Nice to meet you, Rick. And what's yeah, right. And what's yeah. your name? Right. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. What about what about B? Yeah, the answer should be what? My class. My my, my last name my. is Parker. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Number three. Number three. Uh, Wilbur, this is my new friend, Elizabeth. This is my new friend, Elizabeth. Me? Yeah, go ahead, Wilbur. Me? Everybody calls me. No. Okay, everybody calls. Call me. Her. Calls He's her. talking about her. Okay, this is my friend Elizabeth. Everyone, everyone calls her, her Beth. Everyone calls her Beth. Okay. Number four. Hi, Beth. We're the Johnsons. We're the Johnsons. We. We're the Johnsons. He's. See, we are the Johnsons. Or, or our very good. Our. Uh, because you're talking about we. Okay. Yes. Okay. Choose the proper object pronoun. Choose the proper object pronoun. Johnny Depp is my favorite actor. I like all the object pronouns. Okay, let me explain the object pronouns, all right, quickly. All right, the object pronouns I are me, me, and the other one is you, and the other one is his, him, object him. pronouns, him, him, okay, him, her, her, the other one then, is then it it them us and them 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 for example I I love a I love uh, Julie for example I love Julie. If I don't want to say Julie, Julie, I have to say, I love her. Okay, I don't want to say, Ju I'm sorry, July. I don't want to say July anymore. You have to replace the name by the object pronoun. Okay, for example, he is my friend. Okay. Um, 
He's my friend. I I um like I like if it's a woman, what are you gonna say? I like her or I like him. Let's say this is a woman. I like mm -hmm. my friend. I like him. Him or her, okay? It would be if you don't want to if you don't want to say my friend again, then you have to say I like her. I like her. Okay, for example, um, I teach I teach I teach Anna English. Okay. I teach Anna English. Okay. If I don't want to say the name, I have to say I teach I teach her English. Okay? There you go. If you don't want to say I teach Anna English, you have to say I teach her English. Okay? They are my students. They are my students. I like, what is the answer? I like what? I like them. 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 I like them, them my students and if i don't want to say my students i have to say them ellos okay instead of that okay so these are the object pronouns okay me you him her it us and them okay let's go back to the exercise let's go back to the exercise okay johnny depp is my favorite actor Johnny Depp is my favorite actor I, I like, like him this very good I like him very good him. Debbie Debbie Gonzalez hello how are you doing Debbie can you hear me Debbie Debbie is not there okay Carlos Diaz number two can you do number two Music videos aren't interesting. Do you like them? Them. Very good because it's video. Right. Okay. Video. Them. Do you like them? Okay. My you like favorite, them? My favorite YouTube program is Survivor. Okay. Ernesto Palacios. What do you think of? It. What do you think of it? Okay, her, the, ella. Uh -huh. Me? No, this is a, remember, it's a TV program. It. 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 You have to say it. Okay. And that's it. Okay. So, so we're discussing your midterm exam for you not to be confused. Okay. So I think it's very simple, but uh, tomorrow I'm going to teach you the verb to be and do and does. I'm going to try to give you exercises on the verb to be and do and does. Okay. Okay. Fill in the gaps with the correct time expressions. Time expressions. Okay. Um, oh, you have to say in, on, at, okay? Uh, let me see, uh, Ernesto Molina. Ernesto Molina, number one. Hi, Ernesto. Are you still there? No, he's gone, he's gone. Okay, uh, um, Dina, Dina. I sleep at exactly at at is for numbers I live at and you say the number of your house I, I live at 310 San Salvador yeah okay 310 okay 
Number two, number two, David. David Monroy. John gets home late at, in, or, or on. Oh. At, on, night. No. No, at it, night. At John at, gets home late at night. At night. Okay. When you're referring to days, what do you use? When you're referring to Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, on. Friday, on. 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 He had lunch. on, 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 on. Very good job. Very good job. Now, uh, let me see. Uh, Wilbur, Wilbur, I go to bed around what? In the evening. In the evening, okay, you say in the evening, in the morning, in the afternoon. Okay. Okay. Um, Debbie, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, yes, okay. I hear you. Great, good job. Number five, Debbie. We have class in the morning. Very good job, in the morning, in the morning, in the morning, okay. Okay, what about the demonstrative? Do you remember the demonstrative pronouns? That, that those, these, these. All right, let's see, let's see. Uh, how much is, what are you gonna put? These, that, those. What are you gonna put, uh, Ernesto Palacios? These. Um, <coughs> very good. How much is this watch? Very good. Number two. Carlos Diaz. Look at these purple gems over there. Okay, look at, okay, how do you spell these? How do you spell? Uh, like this? Wait, are you gonna put this like that? Or like the second here? This one or this one? First one. No. No. Oh, See, okay. Purple, pur purple is Pickles? It's this. plural. It's plural. It's plural. Okay. Look at okay, these. Okay. Look at these purple jeans over mm -hmm. there. Okay. Are they stylish? See, they, they. It's plural. I like, I okay, like. okay. Uh, Dina, Dina, number three. Dina, number three. I like this, this cultural. Okay, which one are you going to use? This one? Are you going to uh, use this? This? Or are you going no, to use the, this? No, no, no. The first the, one? Yes. The, the, the second. It's the second. The second. The very good. Very the, good. The, very good. The second, because earrings is plural. Earrings is plural. All right. What about, excuse me, I like, okay. you, what do you, uh, let me see, David. Excuse me, I, I like, this is singular. <laughs> Joanna yes. or David, uh-huh. Yes. This, this, that. this, or it could be that this. also. That or, is singular. Okay, that or this. Uh, uh, it could be that or this. She likes. She likes that. those. Are you going to use this? I like that. No. Or these? The first one or the second? This. No. Oh, the second. Not, not. Glasses, glasses is what? Uh, I think I think teacher. Plural. Plural. Uh -huh. Or it could, it could be those. It could be uh -huh. those. It so, could be those. Those. Mm. Also, also. We could, oh, ah, yes. yeah, it says over there. Yes. It says over there, those. Mm -hmm. over there. Right. Okay, guys. So, this, this week, you have to catch up. You have to do section three and Go. midterm exam all right Tom tomorrow i'll explain to you the difference between the and do and do
All right? All right. <clears throat> okay, guys. You have a good night. Uh, good take night, it easy. Care. Have a great time. Uh, study. And I will see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.